insights on all news nigeria tv and yes this show is where we give insights on trending issues from diverse sectors and i still remain your host Chris Gadniu. we are going to be talking about Kama law today yes the company's allied matters act this was signed into law i think two months ago by president muhammadu Buhari. he said this is to aid you know the ease of doing business to regulate religious bodies like churches mocks in the country so I have with me in the studio Mr. Tawheed Musludin is the missioner of Janatu Rahim Islamic Society of Nigeria. Please make welcome Mr. Tawheed. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, thank you very much. So how are you doing today, sir? I'm fine. Yeah, so it's a pleasure to have you on the show. As well as you as well. Yeah, so like I said in the introduction, we're going to be talking about karma today. And if you notice, we've had reactions from diverse people, from pastors, from bishops, even from leaders, political leaders about this issue. But we've not really seen Muslim leaders to come out and say what they really feel about this karma law. And that is why we took it upon ourselves, or all you took it upon um, itself to have an interview with at least Muslim leaders to know what they feel about this Kamala. All I think government is trying to do is because of the, uh, what it pervades the department all over the world. Most importantly, uh, the Sabah's and what, um, the pandemic. As a result of the fact that, you know, the corporation or corporate body as it is in place, most of which are using these entities in order to hide, you know, you know the assets in order for, you know, the government not to know what is going on there. And government is trying to put in place a measure in order to curb any, you know, kind of um, uh, criminalities in these, uh, uh, you know, corporate vehicles. So, and um, in any uh, institutionalized or rather, you know, uh, religious body like this, I don't think government need any intervention there. Most precisely Islam. Because Islam centers on what? You know, activities of um, uh, God. You know, it does not allow for any transaction. So there's no transaction that is what taking place in there. So whereby you have uh, commercial activities taking place, I think government can do something to, you know, uh, like want to bring about, you know, measures like um, that of the stakeholders or the trustee, uh, incorporated or board of trustee uh, to manage the affairs. Or because if you're trying to put this trustee or whatever you try to call it as an administrator of um, this establishment, it's going to what? Uh, it's going to be like you are putting, a, you know, a square peg in the round hole. Because if you try to put the one, maybe the head of a political unit, we, that does not know or that do not know anything about what is going on in the organization. I think. How do you think karma will affect mocks or what are the effects of karma on you know, um, mocks? To answer your question quickly, there is no hidden agenda or rather skeletal, you know, whatever it is in Muslim or rather Islamic realms in the sense that the basis of zakat is of um, annual. It's not something you do every day. So it has the time where you want to partake in and that of the, uh, you know, giving of zakat. So I don't see any uh, area whereby the mosque is going to be affected at all. But you said the law needs to be reconsidered. In terms of, you know, putting the stakeholders for running the mosque. Because the, I learned that it said that of the um, registrar that serve as a public registrar in that of the, uh, you know, corporate bodies um, is going to serve as a measure uh, to, so that by the time that any things find, um, you know, wrongdoing is found to be in place and, uh, you know, either in any that kind of organizations like that, that they are going to what, seek the advice of the courts in order to appoint another what, uh, you know, uh, mission or whatever it is in mosque uh, for any secular and uh, political actors so you know i think uh, there is disparity there funny enough they've not actually even cleared the corruption that is eating up the you know political aspect i mean the government now 
there, corrupt, there, there, there is corruption, obviously there is corruption there. And they are now trying to, you know, go into the religious body to, you know, bring out, you no. Know, I think that what they are trying to do with the um, incorporate um, trustees, if I'm right. Well, um, all I might say is this, is that um, not that government is trying to do any kind of topsy-turvy, you know, action there, but what they are trying to do is in terms of um, intervention in order to have a transparency. Okay. You know, they want that of their assets, in, you know, to be, uh, you know, cleared in the sense that, you know, the ownership, that's what we call the business ownership under business management. That of the business ownership go in line with maybe either it is limited or limited liability. So maybe that of the partnership, uh, the liability of the world partner is going to be limited to the partners. So that is what government is trying to see. In terms of the ownership, we have what we call single person personality. So to know, you know, the kind of person that we own the asset, that will take control of it, and that will also serve as a beneficiary. You know, that's the reason why I mentioned the, 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 the issue of Zakat all the time. All I would say is to the leaders of, um, you know, this organization, they are to put in place also. They are to put in mind also that whatever they are collecting from their members is not, is not meant to take care of themselves. Rather, is to take, the, to, to take care of the world, of the needies that are, for, that are what, uh, below them. So, and that is what government is trying to do. I think what the measures that government needs to do, or rather to put in place, uh, is not supposed to be in, in form of uh, something that is going to be judicial. I think it's supposed to be in form of the quasi-judicial, you know, uh, reform, whereby they're going to put any kind of uh, administrative procedure, um, you know, commit, uh, commission, or rather committee, to review what is going on there. Okay. Are you there? Yes, sir. So, he, and it's going to be of um, something that is not going to be that uh, maybe they are trying to use the uh, political measures strictly over them. Mm. Because this is a religious body. Mm -hmm. And we need to balance between it. Because let, uh, we have to try to work hand in hand in order to what, have government in place as well. To make this thing to be, you know, to be over, the, to be, to be, to be hot there. So I think what the government is doing is transparency and accountability of the leader to try to, you know, let the masses know what is, you know, coming in and what is going out. And I didn't feel that it's not uh, something that is supposed to be, you know, problematic to leaders to submit themselves for any accountability or. Um, Transparency whatsoever. All right. So, out of my curiosity, is um, zak um, zakka, like you said? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it the only um, acceptable giving in Islam? Uh, zakat is meant for benevolence. Okay. You know, in terms of the in kind of the goodwill given to the needest, yeah. because we have this destitute. Not a lot. A lot created people in class. You know, we have people in categories. And that is the reason why the, 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 the significance, sorry, it has been, uh, the, the significance has been attached. And for ensuring the progress of the, you know, uh, the mosque in terms of, uh, you know, the, uh, the most need and the people that are walking inside the mosque, like Imam and other people like that. Do you okay. think karma is actually appropriate for in a Nigerian setting, like in Nigeria? Yeah. My... Me looking into it, it has been on bench for long, okay. 1990, that we have it, Cap C2011, um, I think uh, 1990 then, of which the government in place tried to put it to, you know, the organization. But the fact that they know that it is an entity that backed up by law, and um, they also know that if government should enforce it, there's going to be a, a kind of um, accountability and transparency, as I said the other time. In our country, where we practice a mixed economy, it has been practiced because it imbibes the culture of um, either capitalist or mixed economy. Mm. 
and that is the reason why I deem it fit that is um, suitable and is of the need of um, this uh, country in order to curtail any kind of um, uh, criminal acts of these um, uh, corporate vehicles. If I get what you say, that I think it, there should just be a committee just to review the activities of this religious body, not someone, you know, trying to you know, use their political, I don't know if I get what you say. Thank you very much. So in terms of, um, uh, you know, putting in place the stakeholders uh, for, you know, when you have any wrongdoing, I don't know how, you know, uh, the framework in which government is going to use for that. Because trying to say that you want to put the minister, the minister that doesn't know anything about the world's Islamic doctrine. Mm -hmm. So if it happens that um, any wrongdoing is being perpetrated inside the mosque, so I think the, not only that of the world, the imam is the one that is what known inside our mosque. We still have all, all of the subordinates over there. So that can, because it's a religious institution, so it's a law that what claim it, not government. Where I might come up is this. Transparency is needed. Because when you subjugate yourself under the corporation, or rather corporate entities like these um, uh, corporate body, uh, call, uh, call them corporate affairs commission, they are registered. But to Islam idea, I don't think it's good for Islam to go and register themselves because it's already is is a, a kind of um, structure which is established by God. Allah has made it a fan to us that we should follow the injunction of the authority by saying that to Allah, does this follow Allah? Well, Rasul, and follow the messengers that were sent to you, and minkum, and the authorities being conveyed on you, you, you follow them. But not on the contrary to the base or to the view. But when you look at it, Whereby you try to say that you want to put the trustee that don't know, you know, anything about the faith in mosque might set, you know, a uh, problem to what is going on there. But in terms of checking the activities of what is going on uh, by virtue of uh, knowing, you know, or like trying to say that they want to boost the morale of the mosque in terms of um, intervening, sorry, in, in, intervention of the government to support them. I think that one is good because it's a religious uh, institution, okay. not of um, you know business. It's a pleasure having you on this show. Thank and you so well. much. You know, you really gave insight on the Kama, and I'm, I'm sure you are like a spokesman to other Muslim leaders on what they really feel about Kama. Thank you once again, sir. Well, um, I, if I may say, you know, um, I'm not, you know, been called upon to come and say anything like this on Kama. So, boy, I may say that this is my first time of saying that, but I'm a spokesman mm. on media, mm. trying to sensitize people towards Islamic doctrine. Oh, wow. So that is my, oh, wow. you know, profession. Thank you once again, sir. Mm, you as well. All right, guys, that will be all for today on Insights. Thank you once again for joining us on another beautiful episode of Insights. Do all to join us next week, and of course, do all to you know, like this video, drop your comments on all of the issues discussed on camera today, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you next time.